From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene just a few moments ago, predictably loud and raucous here at Arrowhead as their beloved Chiefs took field, and they are set to match up with the Dallas Cowboys. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Arrowhead. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line.
play clock down to zero. And this is not the way to start a drive. Offensive penalty has us back where we started as they come up on a first and ten. Now a play fake here on first down. On the crossing route, complete. That's Schultz. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Swing, swing to the fit, right, to the right. There you go. Here's Prescott. Throw right side, taken in by Gallup. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. They're indeed going for it. It's Prescott, and he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Prescott looks to throw on first. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. A first down throw for Prescott. Drops it underneath to Elliott. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Call it a three-yard game, and it's a second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. If they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Give him six on the play, and that'll bring up a third and one. down at the 41. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Prescott on first down, eluding the pressure right to the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. 
Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott escaping the pressure right. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. A first opportunity in the red zone for the Cowboys. First and 10 right at the 20. They'll run it now out of the gun. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety? Coming up and making the big-time play. To the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. And so far, a very nice, methodical opening drive. This has the feel of a scripted drive that they rehearsed perfectly all week long, and now they're executing it on game day. Script looks good so far. On third down, it's Prescott. And this is caught at the eight. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Flush to his right. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll make it second and goal. Looking to throw. Prescott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Jeff Swaim from six yards away. And the Cowboys take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. The extra point up and good. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two, as we'll see one following the score on the final play before break. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Ace. to the 29-yard line brought down there. Four yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. It'll go as a gain of 10 on a Kansas City first down. I absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. They're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Jalen Smith coming hard from that linebacker spot. He drops him for a loss of 11. On second down, Williams. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. He went backwards seven yards, setting up a tough third down. Under four to play now. Clock running, third down. Throw, throw, throw. Zee, zee, zee. Zee, zee, zee. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Flushed out right. He's got his man on the crossing route. 
So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. On fourth down, on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. Back deep is Tavon Austin. It'll wind up being a net of 41. Nine-yard return, 50 on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. To throw is Prescott. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Allen Bailey in there to sack him for a loss of six. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Prescott from the gun. Completes it right side to Cooper. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. First down, Prescott. He hits Beasley right side. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. A second down throw for Prescott. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Shaq back at about the 43-yard line. Allen Bailey in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Arrowhead after this. The Cowboys on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and nine. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 46, and he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where's he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Here's Mahomes eluding the pressure right. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. But it looks like the Chiefs are going to get it back. The Chiefs will try and get to the line quickly. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away hey, from him. Hey. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Throwing his Mahomes on third. Escaping the ball. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. David Irving, he's the one to get him this time. And back-to-back -back sacks are going to bring up a fourth down. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there 
that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Flush to his right. His throw incomplete. Jeff Swain, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. While we have a second, Charles, the Patriots, of course, back in the Super Bowl, getting the 37-31 victory over KC in the AFC title game. Great game, but, you know, the, the you Patriots... Know nobody believes in them. Yeah, right. right. They're playing that, that right? underdog card, but I thought it was funny because after the game, they asked Tom Brady, were you guys just trying to use that for your own motivation? He said no comment because they were. They know they're not the underdog. They know it, but when you've been that great, for this long you need something you've got to find something different and tom brady i've got to give him credit somehow he made his team buy that and believe in it when no one else in the country did and i think it really started with their first playoff game this year when the chargers came to town i know i picked the chargers against them a lot of people picked the chargers they took that as well no one believes in us and everyone thinks we're not as good they were just wrong about that part as we were wrong about the chargers beating them but it's still going to mean a call to the punt team on fourth down. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. This is taken around the 12. Treads the tackle. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And it's Chiefs football. First and 10. And now here comes Kansas City. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. down Mahomes and they're going deep for Hill he couldn't quite hold it got hit ball pops out incomplete well partner they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score yeah this is a confident group at the very least they're thinking field goal yeah and I don't blame them one bit I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. They go play action. Now Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. and 10. Here's Mahomes. He's going to go deep for Conley. This is caught inside the 15. Now a timeout called with three seconds to go. And of course, they're in field goal range in the final seconds of this first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And Butker able to put this one through. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. 
Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Ware takes the gift from Mahomes. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Flushed out right. Caught here by Conley. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Cowboys. Well, he did what he's... He made the catch, then he turned into a runner, took the contact, and coughed it up. And all I remember as a player, when they catch the ball, when those acrobatic guys catch it, you have to make them pay sometimes. You have to put it on them, big tackle, knock the ball free, anything you can do to slow them down. They'll try and get the running game going with Elliott. Got a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Kidd had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. They go to Elliott again, and this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Allen Bailey in on the stop. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, this is the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse. And I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first Z, down. Z, 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 Z. down is Mahomes. Steps away to his left. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Second down, here's Mahomes. Eluding the pressure, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Randy Gregory coming hard that time. He's able to run him down for a loss of 12. Third and long, it's Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And a loose football. 
It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. Prescott now after the fumble recovery. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. On second down, Elliott. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll be a third and about 13. Scott. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 15. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So well, while we have a second here, how about we get bold and make a couple Super Bowl predictions? Hey, why not? Let's go ahead and put ourselves on the spot. Just more fodder for the angry people. What do you think? Who's going to win it? Who's going to be the MVP? Well, my prediction for this one is the New England Patriots win the football game. They went at 32 to 30. The MVP, the McCourty twins, Jason and Devin. They both get two interceptions apiece. And instead of splitting the trophy, they wrestle for it right there in the 50 yard line post game. Because you know, sibling rivalries, one always wants the upper hand. Okay, that's bold. I'll go Rams on a Greg Zerline 44 yarder from the right hash as time expires. 44. MVP, that's Todd, for him. MVP Todd Gurley, two touchdowns, one catching, one rushing. I like it. There you, you, don't go. Like, you don't like the McCordy thing, though. No, I do like that. <laughs> if that happens, you're Nostradamus. There you go. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Hey, 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 hey. Cut. Following the penalty, it's Williams. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. Four yards there on the carry. Gets it back to second and 11. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism. They created some nice space for him. Mahomes to throw on second down. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way down to the 26. Mahomes finding his tight end Kelsey for a big one. 59 yards. Ace, ace. Mahomes now on first down. He's got the hookup with Conley. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. Push his way forward here for a good little game. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. 
We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard. They trail as we start quarter number four. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. At this stage of the game, the run-pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Now Mahomes. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. A good pick up there. Eight yards and a first down completion. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey from six yards away. And the Chiefs have taken the lead here in the fourth. So a tiptoe catch back of the end zone. So tough to do, but he made it look pretty easy. Certainly did, and the back of the end zone is treated the same way as the sideline. You have to get your feet down in bounds for it to count as a catch. How about the backgrounds of some of these guys, though? Did they work out it? Maybe some of them were ballet, some dance, who knows? Yeah, you and I were talking the other day. I remember one of my favorite kid shows growing up. I don't know that I want to name it, but... Guys like Lynn Swan, they used to be on there showing their ballet skill. And you have to remember when they were kids and their parents would tell them to take the ballet classes, you know they were fighting them like crazy. But right now they're saying, thanks, Mom. <laughs> the point after is good. And the lead is now 10-7. to seven. now to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. A first down carry by Elliott. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. And Beasley with it over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, they go with a slant that time. 15 yards at a first down. Prescott on first down. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Allen Bailey in there to get him again. The third time he sacked him here tonight. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So I just bring us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. 
Trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. the call spot on how about the execution of that defense right there zone was absolutely locked up tight he was trying to force it in there on third down but if there's a time to force it he felt like he needed to make a play right yeah exactly right third down you got to try and find something there's nothing available there for him Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. Escaping the pressure right. And no! It's incomplete! Jason Garrett might be wanting to reconsider the decision to go for it there. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On the ground, this is Ware. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. And here's a big one now. Nice, Trying to nice. hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes being chased out left. He made, oh no, he lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. For that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we could make a play, we give our team a, we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. They'll pitch it out to Elliott. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That good for 22 and a first down. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. down throw for Prescott flush to his right and it pops free the collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game he tried to fit that one in there nice job though defensively but to your point it was a nice job of knocking the ball away but you're also right you can't be afraid to take those chances that means your guys going downfield to catch the ball 
they've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Allen Bailey in there to take him down. And the clock will roll. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Back to throw. Throw left side complete. It's Elliott. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh shot of downs. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Wide open, Amari Cooper. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, 26 yards. He's back to throw. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Very much in range for a tying field goal as they hurry to the line. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. bunch on the sidelines. They begin the drive with Williams. Williams loses the football. Wow, that ball is not free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. before it actually happens. There's no way he thought that at this stage of the game, this would be his first big run like that. Yeah, but it's got a feel for him like the floodgates open a sigh of relief. Now we'll see if things can open up for him. See if it can continue. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Timeout with two ticks left. 
Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again? Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. To throw is Mahomes. Going deep for Benjamin. He rifles one that's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Alouzier with a pick. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.